Aloha, folks. I hope you're having a great week. Hey, have you ever gotten into a job or a project and discovered that you didn't have the right tool to do the project in front of you? Not too long ago, I ran into a situation like that. I was into a job, a project, and I was trying to take out some screws. So I went and grabbed a screwdriver and came back to try to uh, take out these screws that I was working with only to discover that the kind of screwdriver I had didn't work on the kind of screws that I needed to take out. I had the wrong tool. It wasn't a problem of my desire. I wanted to do the job. I wanted to take care of what needed to be done. I just didn't have the right tool to work with. It kind of reminds me of a story in the Gospels some of Jesus' disciples were approached by a man who had a son who was demon-possessed. The man asked the disciples if they would exercise this demon out of the boy, cast the demon out. So the disciples proceeded to try and didn't have any success, didn't work very well. Jesus showed up a little while later, the man asked him, and Jesus immediately cast the demon out of the man's son. Later on, the disciples were with Jesus alone and they said, Jesus, what's the deal? How is it that you could cast this demon out and we couldn't get it out? Jesus' reply is very interesting. Listen to what he said, Mark chapter 9, verse 29. He said, this kind can be cast out only by prayer and fasting. Interesting, this kind, Jesus said, he implied that there's a certain kind or level of demon, bad, evil, that needs a certain kind of tool in order to cast it out, to handle it, to take care of it. See, the disciples were kind of like me on my project. They had the desire. They wanted to cast the demon out. They just didn't use the right tool. Jesus said there's certain kinds of evil activity that require a special kind of tool, prayer and fasting. Hey, I'm sharing this with you because uh, just recently I got a request from Franklin Graham. He is requesting that Christians all across the country make this Sunday, October 25th, a day of prayer and fasting because of the evil that we're facing in our country right now. I plan on joining them, and I hope that you do too. These are very crucial and critical times for us as a people of God in, in our nation, in our nation's history right now. So this Sunday, I hope you'll join me, Franklin Graham, and thousands of believers across our nation as we pray and fast and ask for a move of God across our country. Hey, let me share a couple of other announcements with you before we close out here. Remember, Tuesday, November 3rd is Election Day, and I hope you're planning on voting. It's a great privilege that we have in our country, and I want to encourage you to vote and encourage you to vote with uh, the proper information. If you go to our website on the home page, as you sc scroll down, there's a couple of buttons. And if you click on those buttons, they will take you, link you to some pages where there's some voter guides. Some are specifically for the state of Hawaii. And then there's one particular for the national presidential election. I hope you'll go check that out and be an informed voter as you go to vote on Tuesday, November 3rd. And then I want to remind you about Fall Fest. We announced it this past Sunday. Yep, we're going to have Fall Fest. It'll be a little bit different. We're not gathering together and having a meal in the gym. We're passing out meals this year. We're going to bless our community. We're going to talk more about that this Sunday. So I hope you will come and hear about how you can plug in and get involved with Fall Fest 2020 on November 20th. Hey, let me remind you of our theme verse as we close out. Rejoice in our confident hope. Be patient in trouble and keep on praying. Thank you.